Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. Today we're going to be talking about your instinct and, and more specifically how you can remain instinctive as you take direction. So we're going to look at what direction feels like and what it can sometimes um, challenge inside of your instrument. And we're going to be looking at why it does that and what you can do about it. So um, usually when I start working with actors, they all say that they're afraid to become instinctive because they feel like it's not always going to be something that they can do when they're actually shooting. So uh, what I hear actors say is that the director is the boss and that they have to do um, <clears throat> what they're being told. They have to do what is written. They have to kind of listen and and a little bit be like puppets, like obey what is the written material or the material that's given them by the director as a direction, right? So I get that that can be really scary if you feel that the, the director or that the material is the authority over you, then you might even want to shy away and run away from uh, being instinctive because uh, you might be afraid that it, what if your instinct goes in the other side, right? So you might have been feeling this before and and mostly I hear actors say, well, yeah, but, but, but what if my instinct is to be angry and the director wants me to cry? That's like a you know caricature type of example. But you might have felt that too, like, oh, I still want to become instinctive, but actually, no, I don't because I'm really afraid that if I am instinctive, I'll be wrong. I won't do the scene right, or I won't be able to follow direction, and then I'll be screwed. And so I understand that that's a legi legitimate um, fear, and at the same time, I want us to decompose this so that you can see what's actually happening. Because when you really follow direction as it's an authority and you're being told what to do, you're going to end up producing a result. You're going to end up faking, pushing, being a puppet, doing exactly what you're being told, like producing an emotion. You won't be satisfied by that and your director won't be satisfied by that, right? So what what's really happening, maybe for us to look at this in a different type of context, is I want you to picture instinct and direction with this analogy. If I am going down a river with my little boat, the flow of the river is my instinct. Me paddling and um, or rowing, I can't remember what the technical word is for that, is actually the direction. So I'm going down the speed, the full life force of the river. So my instinct is taking me in that flow of life, which is incessant, which never ever stops. And it's very abundant. You can't go against it. You can't swim up a river, right? So when you have that amount of life force, you can just put your row or your paddle and direct it, which means you absolutely need that velocity, that life force inside of the river for the direction to do anything, right? If you didn't have the flow of the river and the life force taking you down with speed, you moving your boat with the direction of the row wouldn't do anything. You'd be going round and round and you wouldn't be doing the actual sport in this case, which is, what is it called? Rafting, right? When you're, that's the sport. The sport is rafting. So it means going down with the river and flowing with that and allowing your rows and paddles to direct. So now let's go back to acting. If you have that level of instinct, which means uncompromised instinct, which means you are functioning solely on your instinct, on what nature gave you, on your full life force, not a little version of it, not a portion of it, on your full life force. So you are untamed, you are untethered, you are unattached, you are unblocked, you are fully alive, the director has that material, has that flow down the river to work with. So he is surfing with you and with your instinct and only needs to do this kind of directing. And you take all of that life force 
and you go with him somewhere else and then let's try something else and you take your boat to the right and you take your boat to the left right which is exactly what you would do when you when you would be rafting you have the speed the force the full life force of the river taking you on that moment on that flow and because you are enduring all of that life force and that speed all you need to do is little guiding little direction and then your boat follows right direction doesn't come before instinct there needs to be a full life force inside of you before the director can do anything with you and if you don't have that full life force well then definitely he's going to ask you to do something and you're going to do exactly what he's asking you and so your boat is spinning there is no life in it you're just looking left looking right you're not playing the game which is to go down and to live it right so you can also ask yourself well um the director is directing something which is the life force inside of you when you act if you're not instinctive what on earth is he directing your head your submission your obedience that's not what you were hired for you were hired to perform the job of being fully human within some, a set of specific circumstances. You were not hired to be a puppet. You were not hired to fake or to obey or to do what you're told because then you have no added value. Then they could get anyone from the street and have them do it, right? So what you are hired for is to make sure that you're putting your boat and going down the river with it, that you're unlocked in such a way that you're not trying to attach yourself to all the branches and swim upwards the river no you are hired to have such an open and free instrument such an instinctive instrument that you can just go down the river is it wild sure it's wild to do some rafting so you go down that river and you're trained enough to catch yourself when you fall to get back up and keep going. That's raw, that's life, that's instinct. When a director has that, well, first of all, when a director has that, which is very rare, what they'll say is this is nothing too direct. They'll just say, turn it down a bit, turn it up a bit. That's all they'll say. But they won't tell you what to do if you come with the full life force that you are. They'll only tell you what to do when there's actually nothing there in the first place. So they have to do your job. And you can't perform that job if you're not fully alive, fully instinctive. So to the question, do instinct and direction go together? Absolutely. And I know that 90% of you say no to that and think it's dangerous and you'll, you won't be able to follow the direction. But really when you have your true instinct, when you get that back, when you reset yourself and are actually your whole full alive and instinctive self it's not an impulse it's not just that it's not like i take this text and when i'm doing this line or when i'm doing this scene i want to do it that way that's not instinct instinct is the river in you it's much bigger than an impulse it's unstoppable life flow and energy instinct is what you were when you were a child and it's unstoppable unless someone tries to break you, which unfortunately education does. But so what I want you to remember and what I want you to take away uh, from this, if this resonates with you, is that your job is to make sure that your instinct is available enough to you and the director so that all that he needs to do it's a little push here, a little push there. And you can just take all of that flowing energy that is absolutely limitless. It never stops and just go there and explore it and then go there and explore it. So yes, they absolutely go together. And if they don't, you're just an obedient puppet doing what you're told. And it cannot be interesting because you're not alive. So it's not interesting for you as an experience. It's not interesting for the director as a result. He won't have what he's looking for. And inevitably, it's not interesting for the audience, if that makes sense. And I know that in some countries, we're ending COVID right now, but not everywhere. We're different phases everywhere, more like. So um, 
Yes, as the confinement is progressively starting to end, I hope you're safe and remember that it's still the perfect time for you guys to do some work inside and to actually become instinctive and work through what is preventing you from being instinctive. Um, work through your resistance and if you would like um, to do this work with us and to join the reset journey, we still have our BOGO offer available right now. So let us know if that's interesting to you, if you would like uh, to join the work and enjoy um, a supported COVID rate, I will call it this way. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much. So if you're interested in this and if this makes sense, if you want to do this work, you can get on our wait list. You click the link below. And as soon as we open enrollment, we'll let you know.